Have you heard about the Red Hydrogen One phone? It's a phone with a 3D holographic screen, but it's not made by Apple or Samsung. It's made by the company Red, who does high-end cinema cameras. These cameras have been used to make movies like The Hobbit, Straight Outta Compton, and pretty much anything on Netflix. Well, recently I got to see a prototype of the Red Hydrogen One phone and its four view screen, and I'm here to answer your questions about it as best I can. Well, four view is uh, kind of the name Red calls the display. And the prototype I got to see, we saw a bunch of clips on it. Some were from movies, some were actually shot with the phone, and there were photos and videos. Um, and when you're looking at the screen, it's basically as if you're wearing 3D glasses. It's the best way I could describe it. But unlike when you're in a movie theater and you move your head a little bit and the 3D effect is off, the cool thing is, is if I moved the phone a little bit or I twisted it, I could still get the same 3D effect. And I didn't have to wear 3D glasses. I think that's really important. The downside is we weren't able to take photos or videos of the screen. And I think the reason is if you saw a 2D photo of this screen, it wouldn't look very impressive at all. And seeing it in person, you get the whole effect and it worked really well. And this was just a prototype. It's, it's pretty big, actually. It's not on wheelie, though. I would say it's probably about the size of an iPhone 8 Plus in a big case, maybe a little bit bigger than that. I think like OtterBox size case. So it's definitely something that um, is not petite, it's not small. But what's interesting about it is the way it looks, too. It has these scalloped edges, and the edges are reminiscent of the scalloped edges around the lens lock on the mount of a red camera, which I thought was kind of cool. When you hold the phone, your fingers fit perfectly in the scalps, and it felt very comfortable to hold, um, but yeah, it's definitely not gonna win any tiny phone awards. I did not get to use any of the cameras, disappointingly, but when he walked into an event, a red employee had a phone and took a picture of us, and he showed us the photos, and what was neat about it was the speed with which this phone took a holographic 3D photo. I think they call it H4V is the file format. Um, and he showed it to us on the screen, you can see it right away, and it looked really cool. I thought it would take longer for it to process or there would be like a blackout screen, but he was just taking them like a regular, like a regular snapshot. We think of modular phones, we think of things like Motorola's line of phones or Essential where there's these little mods you can put on them. As far as the red phone, we know there's gonna be a, a cinema um, module that can go on and has like a larger camera sensor and they can attach cinema lenses on it. Uh, we also saw a really cool thing at the event. There was an actual red camera that's an 8K camera that shoots 3D and you use the phone as a viewfinder so you could actually see 3D images on a screen as you film it, which unless you had a VR headset, you're not gonna be able to see. So another fun thing about the event I went to is they had other companies come in, including Layla. And Layla had a platform that allowed people to take video games and turn them into this 4V format. So they could turn a video game into a 3D game that could be played on the Red Hydrogen One. So that's promising that Red's already looking into how you might get not only movies and TV, but also games on there. I hope it goes on sale. It's a really cool looking phone. We know that they had a bunch of pre-orders and they've shut that down for right now. Last week we heard Verizon and AT&T are on board to sell the phone and that's pretty exciting, but we still don't know exactly when. They said maybe August or September. The proof will be when it happens. They said they would actually be selling it earlier this year and obviously they pushed it back. But I have a feeling they're actually gonna sell the phone eventually. When that will be is the big question. I hope it's sooner than later because it looks pretty exciting. As far as, it is called the Hydrogen One phone. And that last word is the part we don't know about yet because we haven't had a chance to make a phone call on it or send a text message or log on to the internet. I know it runs on Android, and but right now what I saw was a very early prototype. There's at least two more prototypes they have to go through before they are ready to actually manufacture them. This phone is not for everybody. And I don't think Red thinks it is for everybody either. I think this phone is for Jim Gennard, who runs Red. I think he's making the phone he wants. I think he's making it do things that he sees phones can't do right now, like a 3D display, uh, filming this unique content, but also using the modularity that some of his cinema cameras have and putting that into a phone. 
think he's interested in not only the phone, but also making this whole ecosystem that can support the phone. And perhaps that leads to other phones from other companies like this. I think if you're someone who's into cinema, the phone with the cinema module is very interesting because red cameras are amazing, but they are definitely on the higher end of uh, pricing. And if you're buying a $1,200 or $1,700 phone and a, a module that goes on that, that can actually shoot red quality cinema video, that will appeal to those people. I also think it's gonna appeal to people who are early adopters who just wanna see what this phone's all about. Um, but I don't think this is gonna be something that you're gonna see in everyone's pocket. That being said, um, a little background on Jim Gennard. He uh, ran the company Oakley, the sunglass company, and when he was pivoting from that into making cinema cameras, a lot of the same questions that we're asking about the phone, people were asking about how a guy making sunglasses is gonna make cinema cameras. So. I would uh, short sell him at all. In fact, I'm really excited to see how he evolves it. Uh, I think he's got a very pragmatic approach to it all, and I think that's kind of appealing to me.